technology is both a blessing and a curse. When everything works, life is smooth. But when devices start acting up, whether it's a frozen screen, a crashing app, or a Wi-Fi connection that suddenly vanishes, it can feel like you're stuck in a digital nightmare. The good news? Most tech issues follow predictable patterns, and learning how to troubleshoot them is easier than you think. If you've ever wished you could fix tech problems like a pro, this guide is for you. The first and most powerful trick in the troubleshooting playbook is the restart. While it may sound overly simple, a proper reboot does much more than just turning a device off and on. When your computer slows down, your phone refuses to load apps, or your router starts dropping connections, restarting isn't just about pressing the power button. It clears memory, resets background processes, and often eliminates the very issue causing the glitch. The trick is knowing when and how to reboot the right way. Computers should be restarted fully, not just put to sleep, so the system can clear out any temporary software bugs. Phones need a proper shutdown instead of just locking the screen. Network issues, such as slow Wi-Fi or random disconnects, often come down to your router needing a full restart. Unplugging it for 30 seconds and allowing it to reset can work wonders, as it forces a fresh connection to your service provider. Beyond just turning things off and on, understanding error messages is a game-changer. Most people panic when they see an error code pop up, but these messages hold the key to fixing problems. Instead of dismissing them, copy the exact wording of the error and take it to Google. A well-formed search can save you hours of frustration. The key is to be specific. If your printer displays an error that reads E42, connection failed, searching for just printer error will be too broad. Instead, searching for Vepson printer E42 error when connecting to Wi-Fi will yield much more targeted results. Adding keywords like fix, Reddit, or forum can lead you to real-world solutions that other users have already discovered. Tech forums like Stack Overflow, Reddit, and Microsoft support pages often have step-by-step -step solutions from people who have faced and fixed the same issue before. The ability to Google effectively is an underrated skill. Using quotation marks around a phrase forces Google to show only exact matches, which helps when searching for specific error messages. If you're dealing with a software issue, looking for discussions from real users rather than just corporate help pages can lead to more practical solutions. Many times, official documentation will offer generic advice, but a Reddit thread might contain the real fix that worked for hundreds of other users. When researching fixes, always check multiple sources before trying anything drastic, especially if a solution involves registry edits or system modifications. Troubleshooting doesn't stop at research, the real magic happens when you systematically test solutions. When something isn't working, the first step is to isolate the problem. If a website won't load, is it just that website, or is your entire internet connection down? Testing multiple sites can help you determine whether the issue is with the website itself or your device. If an app isn't working on your phone, does it work on a different device? If it does, the issue is with your phone, not the app itself. These simple tests can help narrow down the root cause of a problem without wasting time on unnecessary fixes. Once you've isolated the problem, the next step is to check for patterns. If your Wi-Fi slows down every night around the same time, it might not be your router, it could be your internet provider throttling bandwidth during peak hours. If your computer starts crashing only when running a specific program, that program may be the culprit rather than the computer itself. Understanding these patterns can save a lot of unnecessary troubleshooting. From there, it's all about trial and error. But trial and error isn't just about blindly testing random solutions, it's about making calculated changes. If a program is running slowly, checking for software updates might be the easiest fix. If that doesn't work, clearing cache files or resetting settings could do the trick. If none of those work, reinstalling the software might be the answer. The key is to start with the simplest solutions before moving on to more drastic measures. If you're dealing with hardware issues, swapping out components, like testing a different charging cable or trying a different keyboard, can quickly identify whether the problem lies in the device or an accessory. For those who want to take troubleshooting to the next level, learning how to use built-in diagnostic tools can be incredibly powerful. 
Windows has a built-in troubleshooter that can automatically detect and fix many common issues, from internet connectivity problems to printer malfunctions. Running a network diagnostic can often pinpoint exactly why a connection is failing. Similarly, checking system logs can reveal hidden errors that aren't immediately visible on screen. One of the most underrated habits of great troubleshooters is creating a restore point before making major system changes. If a solution requires editing system settings, updating drivers, or modifying software configurations, setting a restore point ensures that if something goes wrong, you can roll everything back to the way it was before. It's a safety net that prevents small mistakes from turning into bigger problems. With these troubleshooting secrets, you can start tackling tech issues with confidence. While it might seem overwhelming at first, the more you practice these techniques, the easier they become. Restarting devices properly, mastering Google searches, and systematically testing solutions will turn you into the go-to tech expert among your friends and family. The best part? These skills don't just apply to computers, they work for phones, smart TVs, gaming consoles, and even home automation systems. The more you experiment, the better you'll get at recognizing patterns and finding the fastest fixes. If these secrets saved you from tech despair, make sure you ring that notification bell so you never miss our next tutorials. We're always bringing you the best tips, tricks, and hidden features to make technology work for you, so why stop here? There's a lot more to discover, and I've got two incredible videos lined up for you next. If you loved this video, these two will turn you into a device optimizing ninja, giving you full control over your tech. So go ahead, choose your next upgrade, click on one of those videos, and let's keep learning together. If you're looking to supercharge your PC's performance, then you must check out the video on the left side of your end screen, how to make your PC faster in 5 minutes. This one's packed with quick but powerful tweaks to boost speed, eliminate annoying bloatware, and free up your RAM so your computer runs smoother than ever. Whether your PC is slowing down or you just want to optimize its performance, this is the perfect next step. And for all my phone users out there, don't miss the video on the right, make your phone lightning fast. This video is going to show you hidden settings, secret optimizations, and powerful cleanup tricks to free up space, boost speed, and make your phone feel brand new again. If your device has been lagging, freezing, or running out of storage, these are the videos you need to watch next. See you there.